Hey guys, I'm back with another video. And do you know who is also back? Xbox at E3. Yes, yes. Xbox presentations at E3 are always a mixed bag for me because they always have some cool stuff to show off, but their presentations are often an hour and a half long, so that will include a lot of filler and a lot of meh stuff. But what can we expect from these guys this year? What are the certainties? What are some wild guesses? Who knows? And what are my wildest dreams for this year? You will find out right now. No really, right now, let's go! One of my all time favorite franchises from Xbox has to be Gears of War. The original was awesome and I also wasted plenty hours in horde mode in Gears of War 4. When we got the announcement last year that Gears 5 is in the works, I most certainly got excited. But we haven't heard anything since then. So expect a new trailer, new footage and probably also a release date. If you like Gears, you'll be in for a treat. And when Marcus Phoenix is back, we will also see the return of another soldier. Which is Master Chief of course. The same story as with Gears 5, announcement trailer last year with no information since. And of course, I'm talking about Halo Infinite. Except we know even less about this game. Will it be the new chapter in the story? Will it be multiplayer only? Or will we even see a Halo Battle Royale? Who knows? All I know is that I love Master Chief because he's a cool dude and I'm very excited for him to return. And do you remember Cuphead? Of course you do, it's an amazing game. Last year we got the announcement that we will get new DLC in the form of the Delicious Last Course expansion pack. Get it? Delicious Last Course? DLC? <laughs> oh, so much fun! Ori and its Blind Forest get a sequel in the form of Ori and the Will of the Wisps, first announced at E3 2017 and showed off again last year. So again, expect a new trailer, new footage and a release date. Because I don't believe we have to wait much longer than this year for that game. We also learned last year that luckily this time around Rare is not just working on Sea of Thieves. Because there is also a brand new Battletoads game in the works. Holy macaroni, it was about time. What a waste it would be to let all these great IPs go to waste. So we can praise ourselves all lucky with some toad butt kicking action. But those are all exclusives, and Microsoft hasn't really relied on its own AAA exclusives in the recent years. So expect some other cool stuff like third party titles with Cyberpunk 2077 for instance, and a whole lot of cool indie games. There isn't much more that we can say for certain that we will see, but can we expect some other surprises? Talking about Rare, could they maybe be working on some of their other IPs as well? And yes, what I would love to see most is Banjo 3. But I'm afraid that's something that we won't see, especially if you look at the recent tweets of Banjo-Kazooie composer Grant Kirkhope. Yikes! But hey, some other IPs would be cool as well. What about Conquer, Viva Pinata, Cameo? Anything would make me happy. But stepping back from Rare, what about Fable? It has to be the time now for Fable 4. This is for many people a favorite franchise and one of the few gold mines that Microsoft holds in their hands, especially when it comes to game series. They have done almost nothing with it in the last recent years, so now would be the perfect time to give us something. Did you also know that Microsoft is working on Age of Empires 4? Come on, that's something that we want, right? Again, they can really have a strong presentation this year. They have enough tricks up their sleeve, but they do have to shake it out. Banjo 3, a new Viva Pinata, Fable 4 and Age of Empires 4. Jesus Christ, you can win E3 with that sort of lineup. But I doubt they will actually pull that off. With Xbox, it's always difficult to guess what they are and what they aren't going to do. They have the means and the games to do amazing things, which most people expect from them every year. But they mostly play it safe with a lot of games from other companies that aren't exclusives and a lot of indie games as well. Look, those things are perfectly fine as well, but with Nintendo and PlayStation going hard on their exclusives, Xbox needs to really step up its game. Or otherwise, they will never beat the other two giants. Because it might seem weird that PlayStation won't be at E3 this year, but at the same time that means that they can't lose or disappoint people, if that makes sense. But hey, I'm excited. Maybe they will surprise us after all. So did I miss anything? Some other certainties? Or do you have some crazy ideas on what they will do? 
or maybe a secret wish that you never dare to share with someone else? Let it know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. If you're still excited for E3, then subscribe to the channel because there is a lot more E3 content on the way. In the meantime, you can check out what you can expect from Nintendo at E3 on screen right now. Once again, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.